going on that sadden our hearts tremendously. We see the oppression going on in Gaza. We see the oppression going on in, 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 in Iraq and in Pakistan and Afghanistan and Kashmir, many, many places in Somalia. And the world, the Muslim world, is waiting for us Muslims here in America to wake up. So I think one of the greatest challenges that we have as Muslims in America is to wake up to our responsibility as Muslims to lead, the, to be in the forefront and to lead the, the revitalization, the awakening of the Muslim Ummah to restore it to its rightful place. Oftentimes in our travels, alhamdulillah, we meet people, and even online, we have a chat room called chatislam.com. We encourage you to visit sometimes, www.chatislam.com. We have Muslims come, and even non-Muslims come to this room from all over the globe. And in the last week, mashallah, in the last, I'd say two or three weeks, we've had almost every single day someone take shahada in the chat room. We, get them, we call them on the phone or they can talk right there in the chat room and they come for different reasons. They come to find out about Islam. Last week we gave a shahada to a person in Athens, Greece. Athens, Greece. Some of us never even heard of Athens, Greece. But he's heard about Islam and he was, he was moved in his own life to say enough is enough. I've had it with Christianity, I've had it with Catholicism, I want Islam, Allahu Akbar.